The banking system right now is effectively enslaving individuals, enslaving students, enslaving institutions, and sucking resources from them. They set it up so that there would be private central banks that could charge everybody interest on the currency and allow themselves to get rich without having to do anything. Who's been doing all of this? It's a group of bankers, uh, the Federal Reserve System. That's a private system. The Fed is a private bank owned by private stockholders. Do not let the name Federal fool you. In 1913, which is when Woodrow Wilson allowed the Federal Reserve System legislation to be passed, most of the Congress people had gone home. This legislation turned the central bank system of the United States over to the Federal Reserve Board, making them the only group that could issue Federal Reserve notes or U.S. dollars. President Wilson, he regretted that. He said that he had just sold this country downstream. A great industrial nation is controlled by its system of credit. Our system of credit is concentrated. The growth of the nation, therefore, and all our activities are in the hands of a few men. We have come to be one of the worst ruled, one of the most completely controlled and dominated governments in the civilized world. A government by the opinion and the duress of small groups of dominant men. President Woodrow Wilson, 1916. It's a fiat system that we operate under, and it's actually someone punching numbers on a computer somewhere. That is how we manufacture money today. There's nothing backing it. There's nothing behind it. When government spends more than it collects in taxes and needs money, it does not print its own money, but borrows from the Federal Reserve in exchange for U.S. bonds, which the Fed provides at interest. When people and corporations want money, they go to banks as well. The system is rigged. If a bank buys a $100 bond, the bank gets to lend out 10 times that amount, or $1,000. They created the extra funds from nothing. No money, gold, or anything to back it up. The bank also gets back the loans with interest for all the money lent. Money is created this way from the simple signature of a borrower with the promise to pay it back. And to make matters worse, very often people are paying the amount back many times over due to the interest. This is the process by which individuals, companies, and governments acquire money. It is respectably referred to as fractional reserve lending and is used globally by most other banking systems, keeping people and entire nations in perpetual debt. So if you just keep printing dollars with no backing, at a certain point, people lose confidence in the currency, and that's what's happened. The banking system right now is in the business of manufacturing risk by creating debt for individuals and people. And so there is the risk that those people will not pay that debt back. But the liabilities for the risk have been and continue to be assigned to the U.S. taxpayer in the U.S. currency. We're now sitting in a situation where the world's currencies are about to crash. Nobody knows how long it's gonna take, but the Federal Reserve System has been printing dollars like there's no tomorrow. You have a, what is effectively a criminal enterprise based on the manipulation of people's attention, resources, and time in order to extract value from them. They're stealing money from us that way. They're stealing the result of our efforts and our labor. And that is something that has grown uh, as, a, as a cancer on our society. These bankers uh, are all part of a, a system called the Bank for International Settlements. Most people, even in business and banking, don't understand this bank and its role as, as the BIS. They own 40% of the assets of the 43,000 companies that are traded on the capital markets. The bank runs itself. It has a board of directors which is composed of 15 governors of central banks from around the world. And they pull down 60% of the annual earnings. They bought up all our media, and that media is hoodwinking citizens. The media has morphed into just uh, peddling the corporate interests of the money masters that control the political establishment. There's about 118 boards of directors that sit on these five giant media corporations, and they all serve different boards of Monsanto to weapons, to food. So when you have all these interests bleeding together, it's that much harder to differentiate what interests you're seeing laid out in the mainstream media.